Hi there, welcome to the Surf Tutorial. So, so usually if you go to the course web, web page, you will find here the links to, to the video, to pre-record tutorials, and also here you have the links to, to download the case. So here you're going to find the links to download the whole workbench, if you want to work there, then the Fluent case files and on. And here also you have the Fluent meshes without any settings, the .nsh format files. And then you have the settings. Remember that we can read that from the text you see in the interface you want to set up everything from scratch. If you download this file, this pretty much will be, I think will be compatible with every version of Fluent, I don't know, probably not with very old, but let's say 2020, 2019, 2018, I think pretty much this will be compatible. This one you need to have the latest version all 2020 also I think they, they will work. So now let's take a look at uh, the case, what we're going to do. So here we are getting out of this bubble of this straight pipe, okay? So see that still we have a pipe, but it's a little bit more complicated, okay? So it's an air ball and we have two inlets. So remember the setup is pretty much the same. You just need to assign surfaces, boundary conditions and everything and do the mesh, okay? So here we have the dimensions, okay, to do the geometry. So we're going to do the geometry using the same model and space claim. So you are going to have the choice to work with any of those tools. Then it will be up to you to use any of them. Okay. So sometimes I like to use the same model. Sometimes I like to use space claim. So here we have the case definition. So see that in this case, now we need to define a new fluid. So see that we have uh, water with these properties. Okay. So see that all properties are, are, are constant and we're setting also temperature. Okay. So see that even if we have temperature, we fix it we're fixing the properties constant but have in mind that we have models to take into account let's say changes in viscosity due to temperature and density as well and thermal conduct conductivity so in this case we fix everything constant so the temperature that is entering here will be kind of a passive scatter it's not changing anything so we're going to only see how it's, it's trans being transported okay so it will be up to you to set up your tolerance quantity okay and I will run just the case in Torbenet, but then as an exercise, just run laminar and Torbenet and compare the solutions, okay? And also just to show you as well, uh, before running the simulation, I scale the domain by 0 0.5 in all directions. So I just want to do this one just to, 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 to show you how to scale, but also it's very important when you are importing geometries and working, always check the dimensions, okay? So if you don't have... The <clears throat> the right dimensions, okay, you should, you, you can scale and even you can rotate your mesh if you want to be in another reference system. So you set into the word like this. I'm going just to show you those options. So this is what we have. We have here the mesh. So it will be up to you to choose a, a quarter of final mesh. So now we, we have an idea how to choose the elements and everything, boundary conditions. And also we're going to do here a sampling in this line. Okay. So you have everything pretty fine is you choose to download the, the, the case with everything now set up. And we're going to sample and do the traditional plots here. So let's see, look at here that we have velocity contours and temperature contours. Remember that we have temperature, but it's entering as a kind of passive scatter. It's not changing the properties. And see that we have the mix in the the cold and the hot streams. And it's interesting to see that you have the interface. So it's clear that the final dimension that you have there, the final will be this interface, okay? And this is the things that we need to resolve well. But look at here that you have some kind of recirculation here, recirculation here, maybe here. Okay, so also we took look at the tolerance quantities and see that when we plot tolerance kinetic energy, we have seen that here is where you have the fluctuations. And same with the tolerance viscosity. So see here that where you have viscosity values where you, the, the tolerance model is kicking in, okay? Uh, what is interesting, I want to stress here, we compare the solution between different uh, order of accuracy is the method. So see here that we have a first order accuracy, this is first order and second order, and see that it's a large difference, okay? So using a first order accurate method, it is unacceptable for production runs, okay? So see that there is too much diffusion here, okay? So see, this is diffusion, numerical diffusion. In reality, you should have a a, a very clear defined interface here, okay? So this is the problem with uh, or, or with first order accuracy simulations and this is important now when it comes to convection, okay? The, the momentum equation. Maybe with tolerance quantity, you can play around with 
first of all, yeah, Chris, but when it comes to momentum and also energy equation, you have to be uh, high order accuracy, second order at least. And see that you see something similar when it comes to viscosity, uh, effective viscosity, which is the molecular plus the turbulence. So see that there, there is a lot of diffusion, okay, of this viscosity due to the fact that we're using a first order accurate method, okay? So in this case, it's momentum, okay? So be careful, okay? At the end of the day, you want second order accuracy in the momentum equation. We're going to see that. So also we plot some velocity vector so see here that you have the whole field and we kind of make an amplification soon here see that you have the recirculation here kind of a recirculation here see here that also this interaction there also we plot velocity vectors in the boundaries and in the sampling line so see that you have the profile so this is entering at a faster velocity so see that you have here so you have the jets also so start to see that it's not only walls then when you have different streams you can have these jet jets and what is interesting here we have the colors what you see here is velocity and then this is the line where we're sampling this one and it's color y y plus normal to the wall what is interesting to see here that probably is difficult to see later when you run you will see this but see that when you go close to the wall the y plus is going down but what you will see is that the y plus in this case is something about 14 or 12 which is in the buffer layer so it's not not decidable but see how fast the mesh grows from 10 and then suddenly it goes probably like 40 60 and so on so from 10 it goes to the log low to the log low something about 600 like this and this is important look at the transition between this and this is too large so these are things that should be controlled in order to avoid numerical diffusion this is not a big problem but since that as to when you are doing the mesh you should be aware that here you are going to have gradients large gradients you are going to smear, smear those gradients so here we compare now we start to look at the solution so here you have the residuals see that as you said control you need to monitor many quantities not not do not rely on rely on only in this so see that we have the the maximum values y plus monitoring somewhere in the domain and this is somehow the y plus indication also why uh, wall shear stress remember in the definition you have you have the wall shear stress entering the shear velocity so this is a data indication also here we're plotting uh, plotting the mass weighted average of temperature and here we have the imbalance okay in, in these surfaces so you have two inlets one outlet see that negative values in the case that the flow is going out so if you saw this one you will have something close to zero and here we start to look more sampling along along that line so see here that here we have the block the the wall so the same as we did previously so see that you can extend that to any geometry okay so you follow the same steps to plot the y plus and u plus see that you have all your profile here but see that now here you start to see those two streams of flow so it's a little bit different these profiles but what is interesting when you go and plot this u plus y plus see that can somehow you should be able to to recover that profile even if there are differences and remember that the mesh probably you do a much finer mesh this you, you will get a, a better agreement but see that the first cell here the first cell center it is somewhere about 20 okay so it's, it's this property in the buffer layer where the errors are, are much larger so probably this difference that you see here is just due to the fact that we're in the buffer layer but then when we start to go out so say that, see that we go from 20 probably to almost 40 and then more than 100 really fast you have that transition in y plus values okay and you don't get perfectly this match with the, 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 the logarithmic law because remember that you have a secondary string that you see here so see that really fast you're getting the second flow so these are things that you should consider when looking at this but generally speaking as i mentioned you are in equilibrium conditions there is developed flow there is no separation you should get something very similar that you you have here okay so likely is that if you do a much much finer mesh you will get your viscous layer well and then the blending the buffer layer and then the logarithmic layer but here you have all this interaction different strings okay so we're going to do this in this case okay again we're going to do geometry we're going to do the mesh different approaches set up the case uh, inside workbench but remember that you can set up also that outside workbench and fluent and so advanced post processing so that's all for this case for this introduction see you in the next video bye